I'm not bullshitting you. I have so much faith in this generation. Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, it's really hard to make a video today because of everything that's happening. And I knew that my mind would be all over the place filming this, so I wrote some stuff down. So just to preface all of this, I I have a hard talk. Can't even talk about pain. I have a hard <laughs> I have a hard time talking in general, clearly. Um, but I have a hard time talking about this because I have never been through it and as you can see I'm a little brown <laughs> um, for those who don't know which I'm assuming most of you know but I'm half black um, but growing up in Parsippany especially it's never been a problem for me I can honestly say that um, yeah, this is difficult to talk about when I've never really, I don't know, this is hard to talk about, so that's why <laughs> I wrote down some stuff. I think it was important for me to write down some stuff because if I didn't, then I wouldn't get it out. I'm gonna read this part verbatim because it's sentences. Um, so I start with, I'm so very lucky where I grew up. As a light-skinned mixed girl, <sighs> growing up in person needs. mixed girl growing up in Principity. I've never had an issue with who I was. I've never had a bad interaction with police because of my race. I've never felt what it is like to be put down because of my race. This is where I need to acknowledge my white privilege. Not only am I half white, but my complexion is lighter, which gives me privilege in this country. Fellow half African Americans may not be as lucky as I am because their skin's darker. The point that I'm trying to make as an African-American woman in America is that I have never been subject to racial bias, police brutality. But that doesn't mean it's not happening. I'm angry. I'm angry that my brothers and sisters in this country are being condemned because of their skin color. Oh God. It's that simple. There's no other way around it. Further saying this isn't about race, please do not continue to be ignorant. Educate yourself. Our country, which was built by slavery, has been systematically biased from the very beginning. There is no argument against that. George Floyd is yet another human being with a family, friends, and loved ones, and he has to be used as a symbol. It's enough. This is enough. You need to acknowledge your privilege. I am a privileged, light-skinned, middle-class woman with the support of my family and my friends, and I've never been condemned for my race by police. But for people like me, for people like me in different areas, go through different things, people like my dad, people like my uncle, people like my grandparents might not be so lucky. That's all I've written. Um, so, yeah. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I, I, I am privileged. I am a middle-class, light-skinned woman 
who has never been through anything near that horrible. But that's the whole point. The whole point is that we need to realize that, that people in this country are being killed because of their race. People need to understand and educate themselves about literal laws that are in our constitution which are so blatantly <laughs> against black people in America. It, it's, it's there, it's a fact, you can read it. Sorry, there's gonna be <laughs> a change, a shift in, in audio because the first part I recorded, it was um, on my, my camera audio because I'm silly and I forgot to click a, click a button. I think first and foremost, what everyone needs to do now is recognize their privilege. I went to a seminar, 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 um, and Damon Young, I believe, yes, um, Damon Young, and he wrote, uh, the book, What Doesn't Kill You Makes You Blacker, um, and so he had a seminar at Point Park, um, and it was probably one of the most rewarding things I ever went to because before that, I didn't really recognize what white privilege was. I've always heard it. I, I, you know, I was ignorant. I mean, I, I had an idea of what it meant, you know, but I was like, well, like my mom's white and, you know, she struggles. She, she has things that she goes through. She, you know, she has to work hard for her money and, you know, um, and I never understood. I was like, well, cause I always thought of it as such a negative thing. Like, you know, like my mom, like she, she works so hard. She does all of these things. Like she's not privileged, you know? And then I went to the seminar and he basically explained that privilege doesn't mean that you don't have a hard life. Privilege doesn't mean that you don't work hard. Privilege doesn't mean that you just have things handed to you. The only thing that white privilege means is that you are not at a disadvantage because of your race. You do not have a disadvantage because of your race. And that's it. Doesn't mean that you don't go through hardships. It doesn't mean that you don't have a hard life. It just means that you will never understand and go through what it is to be a minority. That's, that's it. Um, and so that's the first thing that all of us need to recognize and use to our best ability and our power um, is to use our privilege and to speak up and to do things um, that will that will help the situation. I have so, like, I'm not bullshitting you. I have so much faith in this generation. I do. I have so much faith in this generation because we fucking speak up. We talk about what bothers us. We are not afraid to be who we want to be in general. We speak up. As an African American woman, my I am half white, but it's like, what does that mean for me? Like, who am I? I've always had a hard time understanding who I was, and like, where I should identify, you know. And that shouldn't even be an issue in the first place. But I always had that struggle because of where I grew up. So lucky for you. For those of you who grew up in Parsippany or grew up in a, a diverse area, you are so beyond lucky because you see the integration of people, you see the acceptance of people because we grew up with that, because that was our life and we didn't see dif p different people. Like, we knew we looked different, but we never condemned somebody because of, at least me and my friends, would never condemn somebody because of their race. But we were lucky. We were privileged. We were privileged to be around all different people. So at this point uh, in my video, my footage decided to be a pain in the ass and not load in Premiere. So um, here I am editing Maddie. Um, so at this point, I just basically started talking about how 
you know, when I went to college and I started meeting different people that really, it stretched my perspective in such a way that I didn't even know what was going on around me. I didn't. I was ignorant. I didn't know. I started to take classes. I started to meet new people and understand different circumstances. You just don't know people's lives. You don't know what they go through. You just don't. Um, unless you've been through it, unless you've been subject to it. So all we can do is be there in solidarity with those people who need us. We need to be there <clears throat> for the people that don't have the privilege that we have, that we are so lucky to have. And we need to recognize that privilege. We need to know that we have that privilege. Because like I said, it doesn't mean that you don't have a hard life. It doesn't mean that you have to do a lot of things in your life that you don't necessarily want to do it doesn't mean you don't have a hard life it just means that you are not put down because of your race you are not subject to police brutality because of your race that's just what it is um yeah so that's really <clears throat> you know, the ending of this video, um, and I know a lot of people are, are just upset, and there's riots going on, and, and, and protests going on, and everyone just please be safe, be smart, um, you know, understand what is going to make a difference, and what isn't, and, you know, hurting more people isn't going to help, but it's like, I don't know. It's really hard for me to determine, you know, what is the right thing to do because if there wasn't protests, if there wasn't riots, who knows if that man would even be in jail right now. Um, so this week I want to encourage you to um, learn about this, you know, look into, look into George Floyd, look into the history of police police brutality look into the systematic things that are put in place that are so evidently against minorities in this country um look back at there there's a, a shit ton of information about how the police force i think in in new york city in the very beginning when they started um they had a computer system and I, I can actually recommend a, a podcast to you, but um, they had a system where, you know, it, they needed a certain amount of minorities to arrest. They needed a certain amount of blacks, a certain amount of Hispanics, a certain amount of whatever they had to arrest that, that amount of people. So there is a system put in place against minorities there just is so read up on things watch documentaries um you know become educated and recognize your privilege i recognize my privilege as a light-skinned middle-class woman in a amazing town <clears throat> where i have not and probably will not ever be subject to police brutality um recognize that and be an ally and be in solidarity with those who do not have the privilege so yeah um happy monday i know it's weird to say happy monday but happy monday and enjoy the rest of your week and read up learn understand and recognize okay i would do the covering of the camera but <laughs> that footage is gone actually no it might not be so i i will do the uh bye guys okay <laughs> um and as i get older i realize that there's so much in the world that i don't understand so understanding more is important thank you for listening thank you for being here um and that's my mom sneezing so <laughs> time to go all right guys thank you have a wonderful monday and have a wonderful week and be there for each other Okay, I'll see you guys next Monday.